This circuit is a simple laser activated remote control. And I say simple because it only has the functions of on and off. It features two cadmium sulfide photocells. They are sensitive to light. A comparator chip. Two potentiometers or trim pots. They're variable resistors for setting our threshold for tripping couple LEDs and a flip-flop which in this case we're using as a SR latch. It's one bit of memory. So for all those fancy terms let me simplify it. When I take a laser and I aim it at one of the photocells you can see an LED light up. What's happening is the comparator chip is comparing the voltage present at the photocell to the voltage set by the potentiometer. So it compares these two and if this one is lower, it turns on the LED. So there you can see it turns it on. And same thing for the upper one. Now, one of the differences is that we have, we take these two results, and if this one is turned on, it sends a zero signal to this latch chip, this one bit of memory over here, and zero turns off the, LED, the big blue LED. On this one, when it is enabled, it sends a 1 to this chip, and outputting a 1 turns the LED on. So let's show you there. See, the blue LED turns on. This is off. This is on. Off. On. And if instead of an LED, if you hooked a robot circuit or a start button or something else to the output of this chip, you could turn on a robot or turn on a device instead of just turning on an LED. This has been made somewhat insensitive to visible light, so if I move my hand over it, you notice it's not tripping. Neither of these lights are turning on. That's because the laser is so much brighter that it's easy for the, uh, if I set the sensitivity low enough, for little changes in light, like my hand going across it, not making any difference. Of course, if you completely cover up a sensor, it'll turn the opposite one on. And that's because these are in series with each other, they're connected to each other, so that as the room gets lighter and darker, the combination of LEDs, uh, the combination of these two will automatically sort of balance each other out. So a dark room won't set it off, a light room won't set it off, because these are also, in some senses, fighting against each other to see who's brighter. If I cover one up completely, it assumes that a laser is hitting this one. We're assuming we're in a dark room and a laser is hitting this, which in this case obviously isn't true. But if you have this up on a display somewhere, if you've got this across the room and you, you hit it with a laser, somebody putting their thumb on it is not going to be a big issue.